water, go quickly and calmly to the lifeboat. Ready? Here we go. Keep calm, everybody. Don't panic. Don't panic. Oh, no. It's all going wrong. Well, that was a bit of a disaster, wasn't it? They needed to have proper lifeboat practice. In school, you have a fire drill, don't you? To practice getting out quickly in case a fire starts. Well, on a ship, it's the same sort of thing. They've got to practice getting onto the lifeboats quickly in case the ship starts sinking. So, do you think they should let the animals run around any old how? Or should they get things organised? Right. Let's get things organised. When the hooter sounds, all you passengers come to me quickly. And all you passengers come to me. And we'll make sure that the right number of passengers gets into each lifeboat. What is the right number? Five. Each lifeboat has places for five passengers. I've written it on a big bit of card so we can all remember. Right. I'm sending four passengers to the lifeboat. But how many places does that leave for my passengers? I don't know. <laughs> Dear? Bradley, what on earth is going on? Well, what is going on? Bradley's animals are going to have some of the places on the lifeboat and Fizz's animals are going to have the rest of the places. And altogether, they add up to five. Do you know the numbers that add up to five? Well, look, how many digits have you got on one hand? One, two, three, four fingers and one thumb. Four and one. That makes five, doesn't it? But watch, if I move this finger over... That's right. You can see that one, two, three and two also make five. Actually, however you move your digits, you've always got a pair of numbers that add up to five. Watch. Two and three. One and four. And, of course, naught and five. All different ways of making five. Could be useful for the number crew. OK. The places are all empty again. Remember, I've got room for five passengers. Right. I'm going to send three passengers. That means you can have three... Uh, uh, move that one. Bradley, if the ship was really sinking, there'd be no time for you to be wiggling your digits. We need to know straight away. If you've got three passengers, how many can I have? We need to know it off by heart. Fizz is right, you know. Using your digits is a good way of working things out. But if you want to do maths fast, you've got to know things by heart. So listen to the wise words of this song. Use your digits, that's a very good start. But to speed things up and do your sums fast you got to learn your number facts by heart, oh yeah! you got to learn your number facts by heart If the boat is sinking and you want to stay alive You've got to know the numbers adding up to five That's five and naught, five and naught, four and one Four and one, three and two, three and two. They're the number facts for the number crew. Two and three, two and three, one and four, one and four. Naught and five, naught and five. Now the number crew's got organised. OK, I'll shout out how many passengers I'm sending up. Then I'll know how many I can send to add up to five. Hang about. With all the noise the passengers are making, you might not be able to hear me. Don't worry. I'll make you some of these like mine. So that's how the number crew organised their lifeboat practice. When Ted sounded the hooter, all the passengers hurried to the lifeboats. When Bradley had some passengers ready, he shouted out and held up his card. Four! I've got four! And Fizz knew by heart how many passengers she could send. One! To fill up the five places in the lifeboat. 
It didn't matter who went first. <laughs> I've got two. That means I can send three. The lifeboat practice was a great success. So, the number crew got things sorted out. If you want to write down what they did, you can do it like this. Bradley sent four passengers to the lifeboat. But the lifeboat had room for five passengers. Then it was Fizz's turn. She had to work out how many passengers she could add to Bradley's to make five altogether. Four plus what number makes five? Four plus one equals five. You show adding by putting this sign between the numbers. And this sign means equals. Four plus one equals five. Or, to look at it another way, four plus one <laughs> equals five. OK, you might have seen the living numbers before, but have you seen the living sums? They've got to get together to make sums that add up to five. Four plus something equals five. What has to go in the gap to make the sum right? One! Four plus one equals five. Something plus three equals five. What number is missing? Two! Two plus three equals five. Or, to look at it another way, three plus two equals five. Swap the numbers round and they still add up to the same answer. Well done, the living numbers. Well, this is good fun. Yeah. Well, it might be for you. But all I'm doing is holding this sign. I want to work out a number too. What? You mean we could have three numbers adding up to five? Yes. Why not? Well, can you help Flo out? Can you think of three numbers that add up to five? Don't forget the handy helper to work out three numbers that add up to five. Good luck with your number facts. Bye-bye.